brothers and sisters, and a welcome to our praise and worship this morning. A special welcome to our online viewers, wherever you find yourselves today, at home, at your different churches, wherever you find yourself, come and join us as we praise the Lord today by starting our song service by singing hymn number 92, This Is My Father's World. Jesus.
Um, let, let us close our eyes for prayer. Um, dear God, thank you for being with us. And thank you for your presence in our lives. Thank you for guiding us in everything that we do. We thank you, God, for everything that we have. And we thank you, God, for the times that we have with our families. We pray for the program that is in front of us as it is presented by the kids. May the program touch so many hearts and change so many lives. May everybody open their hearts and mind and receive your word from the little ones. May you continue to shine in the little ones and guide them throughout their lives, Lord, and protect them from these earthly things, Lord. Be with each and everybody in this family. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and a very happy Sabbath to all of you. I want to welcome everyone here that's physically here, or as we say, face to face. But I also want to welcome the online viewers, and a special welcome to the aunts, the grandmas, um, the family members of this very special people here today. I think we all can guess that um, the children is actually taking the Sabbath school this morning. So please relax um, and please be blessed with a special program that the children will be giving to you this morning. Let us reflect on this day and give thanks to the Lord our God with a passage from Psalm 100, verse 4 and 5. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his court with praise. Give thanks to him and praise him. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continue through all our generations. I will now give an opportunity for, for the congregation to give thanks to the Lord with your offering. Let's close our eyes. Thank you, Jesus, for this offering. Lord, I ask thee to come place this offering for the furtherance of your word. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning, church, and happy Sabbath. Today's theme is Go We Therefore, which is a mandate that you and I have been given of God. 
We have come to know Jesus as our Lord and our personal Savior, and the task before us is to share this good news of Jesus with all people that we encounter. Remember all of God's goodness in your life and think of how much fuller the lives of other people would be should they also have the same experience with God. Spreading the gospel not only enriches the lives of those we share God with, but it also gives us a purpose and it strengthens our relationship with God. I invite you all to sit back and to listen to the Junior Sabbath School as they remind us to carry out the work of the gospel in our daily lives. Hello, Mitsa. Wow, this is such an interesting piece of art. Pathfinder and Adventure Camp 2024. What does it mean and why are there so many colors on it? Can you please tell me? Well, this craft was done at the recent Pathfinder and Adventure Camp in Paul. It's a fingerprint tree. Everyone who was at the camp put an imprint, on the, put an imprint of their fingerprint on the tree. Why fingerprints out of all things? Well, the tree is a representation about how we are all one body in Christ. Christ is the trunk and he brings us all together with our unique characteristics and binds us with his love. Red, yellow, tall or short, it doesn't matter because God loves us all the same and has a room for all of us in his kingdom. Well, there doesn't have to be a lot of space in heaven for all Bavo Pathfinders and adventurers, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're not just talking about Bavo SDA congregation when we're talking about going to heaven. God wants all of those who believe in him and who want to go to heaven to come. So you're telling me, if someone doesn't know that Jesus exists, there's no place for them in heaven. That sounds pretty unfair if you ask me. Well, God is never unfair. He gives us all a chance to choose to follow him, but he does need you and I to help him spread his word. I know a bunch of big words to describe spreading the gospel, the Great Commission. That's right, and that instruction is found in Matthew 28 verses 19 and 20. Can you tell us what it says? Yes, Jesus said, go therefore, teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Teach him to observe everything I've commanded you to do. And surely I'm with you always, until the end of the world. Amen. Amen. Wait, so you're telling me I need to speak in front of nations to show that I'm wor worshipping God? I can't do that. Well, the good news is that God will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. He will hold your hand and help you spread his love to others. Wait, didn't he do that with Moses? Moses stuttered and he was afraid of public speaking. Yes, God didn't just send Moses out to save the Israelites all by himself. God sent Moses with his brother Aaron and he was with the, them in the entire time. God promises in the Bible that he will take away all your fear and give you power.
It's good to know that I don't have to face people alone. I've even began to speak about God to others. Some days I would, I, some days I think to myself, do I really know what to say about him to my friends? Wait, Mumu, I know you find it easy to talk to your friends about the latest video games and your favorite movie. Do you know why that is? It's because you're constantly putting time into watching your favorite movies and trying to get the highest score on your favorite video games. That's right, I do enjoy playing video games and re-watching my favorite movies. See, Mumu, if you put that amount of time into reading your Bible and taking a walk with Jesus, it would be so much easier to speak to other people about God. Now I know it is very easy to speak about this subject. I need Jesus into my heart. Then it would be more easier to speak about the subject and how he came into my life. So I need you guys to please help me let Jesus into my heart. Well, sorry, well, if you ask God into your heart and if you really mean it, he will come in and stay with you always. into my heart and into my life he will help me spread his life to everyone his love to everyone else he loves me so much that he's willing to help me fight my battles even when i'm feeling weak he's always going to be there for me even when i have nothing to say to other people he's always going to let his light shine through me
Now I know that there's nothing stopping me from speaking about God and praising him. Isn't this what God expects us to do? Imagine a world where everyone loves God and praises him just as he deserves. I agree, Mutsa. It would be so much fun to worship him myself and help the other people around me worship him too. glad we had this conversation. Now I feel challenged and empowered to speak about God. Now I know that I mustn't keep God's goodness to myself. I need to pass it on.
more thing before we go back. I just want to remind you that when we love God, it's easy for us to want others to be saved too. When we love God, it's easy for us to want others to be more drawn to Christ. And the more people that are drawn to Christ, will, the more the world will change better. Because love can change the world. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Sure. You can tell me what you think, but not right now. We praise our Heavenly Father because He graced us throughout this whole year with His little ones. And I'm telling you, you don't know what you miss. And I'm I'm standing here and I challenge you for 2025 to be part of any child serving program. And we thank our Heavenly Father and we give Him all the glory for children like these, for parents like you. It doesn't matter in what capacity you are or in what capacity you serve in your community, at your workplace, but we praise God for who you are. And a special thanks for our background workers. We had workers at the back last night. And I must tell you, we couldn't do this without you and children. There is no junior Sabbath school no children's ministries, no pathfinders, and no adventures without you. And adults, I want to bid you this morning, don't let the kid in you go. Because there will be many times you will need that child in you. And if you don't utilize that child in you, you might die sooner than you think. Yes. <laughs> and today we celebrate the innocence and the purity of heart of these little ones. And it is our responsibility to keep them happy and healthy. 
And this concludes our program. We can all participate in I will go. And that is the command Jesus gives us in Matthew 28 verses 19 and 20. And be sure of that. And he will be with us till the end of time. And this gospel has to go to every nation. And we, we are the instruments in God's hands to make that possible. And I have to challenge you again. This church needs, needs to burst with children. Are we ready for that? So from now on, we go on our knees. There's a list of names in the foyer. And you pray for those children every single day. We pray for those children. And there might be some names not written on that heart. But pray for, not for only for Bible children, but for children all over the world, even for those rough diamonds outside there. We have to pray for them. And we have to love them unconditionally. Thank you, church. We'll call upon Elder Sherwin to conduct a closing prayer for us. What does the church say? Amen. Amen. Please pray with me. We'll pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you very much for the opportunity that we have to bring these little ones before your throne this morning. Thank you for their ministry, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you that it's so beautifully done, only the way they can. And thank you for taking your rightful place in each and every one of their hearts, dear Lord. As we bear them up, dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you would hold them even a little bit closer to your bosom if that's possible. And as we remember those names on the heart, dear Heavenly Father, that's written on a physical heart, but that all the names that's engraved on yours, we remember those that are not with us in our presence for whatever reason, dear Heavenly Father. We pray that you be with them and that you remember them and that our love is reflected through you unto them, dear Heavenly Father. Be with us now as we will worship further and may it be acceptable in your sight. Thank you for the leadership of this department. Bless them and protect them and inspire them further. For these and all the other mercies, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.